God profoundly loves me, His love is the source of my strength and healing. By His stripes, I am healed. I therefore trust in His plan for my health, and I know He is always with me, guiding me and giving me the grace and strength to overcome any challenge. I believe in the power of prayer and the healing touch of God. Therefore, I will trust in His power to heal and restore my health and have faith in His timing and plan for my healing. The Bible says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. It is now I will say Amen, and not let fear nor worry hold me back. Instead, I will focus on Christ and His love and grace. I will have hope and optimism, knowing that God is with me every step of the way. Through Christ, I am strong and capable of overcoming any challenge to my health. I am confident in God's plan for my healing, and I will trust in His love and grace to guide me on the path to wellness. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Therefore, I will also seek the necessary medical treatment and support from healthcare professionals, knowing that they are also a part of God's plan for my healing. I will listen to my body and be open to treatments and therapies. I will also surround myself with a supportive community of loved ones and fellow believers who will lift me up in prayer and encourage me on my journey to wellness. I will also strive to cultivate a positive attitude and maintain a grateful heart, recognizing that God's love and grace are always present in my life, even in the midst of illness or hardship. The Bible reminds us in Isaiah 53 verse 5, saying, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Amen. So, I will trust in God's sovereignty and know that he is in control. I will trust in his love and grace to bring me healing and well-being, both physically and mentally. And again, I will say Amen. I will have peace knowing that no matter the outcome, God is in control, and His will is always for my good. I will trust in His plan for my health and well-being and know that He will work all things for my good. I have faith that He will bring me through any trial and that His love and grace will sustain me. The Apostle Paul, in the book of 2 Corinthians 12 verses 8 to 10, said three times i pleaded with the lord to take it away from me but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is perfected in weakness therefore i will boast all the more gladly in my weaknesses so that the power of christ may rest on me that is why for the sake of christ I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, and in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. Again I say, I will continue to encourage and remind myself that God's love for me is not based on my physical health or circumstances. He loves me unconditionally, and nothing can change that. So I will rest in his love and find peace knowing that I am always loved and valued by him. Illness and hardships are part of our human nature. And although it may be hard to understand, these challenges teach me the value of life, which I too many times take for granted. They teach me to grow my faith and to make me more like him because he suffered painfully because of my transgressions. I will continue to try to find meaning and purpose in my struggles and look for ways to glorify God through them. 
but I will also try to find peace in knowing that whatever the outcome may be, it is all part of God's plan, and ultimately, He is in control and that His will will be done according to His purpose and glory. Therefore, I will have faith that He will bring me through this challenging period, and that He is always working for my good regardless of the outcome. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 28, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Amen. And so, as I work through the healing process, I will indeed do my best to take care of my physical and mental well-being, knowing that I am a temple of the Holy Spirit. I will nourish my body with healthy natural food, as well as the spiritual food of His Word. I will strive to exercise regularly, get enough rest, and also get medical help. I am also aware that remaining cheerful is not always easy, especially when faced with difficult circumstances such as illness or hardship. But, with the help of God and the support of the community, I will try to find the strength and positivity to face these challenges. Proverbs 17 verse 22 says, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Amen and Amen. May God's healing power flow through every cell of my being, restoring my body and mind to complete health and wholeness. May I trust in His love and grace to guide me on my journey to wellness. And may I have peace in knowing that He is in control of every aspect of my life. Finally, I pray that I may find strength, positivity, and hope in my faith in Jesus. And may I be a source of encouragement and hope for others facing similar challenges. I pray this in Jesus' name, Amen.